Okay, so asked a great question on how do you deal with, uh, well, I've summarized it as how do you deal with controlling people? People will often have rules like you should do this or you should, you should behave in that way, do this, clean that. Otherwise, you know, you're not, uh, you're not living according to my rules. They don't say that, but they get very angry if you don't follow their controlling nature and their rules that they have for you. And how do you deal with that? Um, for me, the, the way to deal with that, there's a few things I'd be doing uh, in those kinds of situations. One is, all right, so this is probably partly a karmic interaction. Um, so I'm in, for example, if I'm living with somebody who goes angry every time I don't leave the kitchen clean, um, then, uh, or leave a bit of mess in the kitchen, then I'd probably say, well, partly I'd probably be thinking, you know, I, I've ended up in a relationship with someone who gets angry if the kitchen isn't spotless. So um, for some reason, this, you know, I would say on some reason, I've, I have something in my consciousness, which means this is quite a meaningful thing. Now, there could be a deeper spiritual meaning as why I've ended up with a person who uh, is OCD in the obsessive compulsive, uh, you know, maybe obsessive compulsive around cleanliness in the kitchen. So um, there's probably a karmic lesson in there that I've ended up in this scenario. So I'd probably say, okay, so I could do Dr. Hawkins' anti-karma prayer. I might, oh, that's the way I'd be thinking. I pray for forgiveness for the one in me who's been a clean control freak uh, and distressed other people in this lifetime and other lifetimes. Um, so that would be, and I'd, you know, and I'd be hoping in that way that I'd be clearing the unforgiveness of, uh, you know, and getting the forgiveness to not to see the situation differently from um, my perception that I'm being controlled by someone else being controlling uh, with me and their rules. So that's one thing I'd do. I would also, um, I could also use it as a thing of like, how am I, from a transcendence point of view, what are the hooks? Um, well, the hooks are, oh, the, her tone of voice and the way she loses her temper every time the kitchen is not, is not spotless. So tone of voice, and she says, you know, maybe she says, oh, you're, um, you, you've, um, she may have a criticism, whatever the criticism is, you know. So she may say, look, um, you're nuts for not leaving a clean kitchen. So if that's it, I'd, I'd place that into God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles and transcendence. Um, just pray to take out the meaning of her criticisms against me. I just even put her criticisms into the light, into God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles and transcend. So in that way, I'm dissolving the hooks in me because there's nothing out there, you could say, from a transcendence point of view, there's nothing out there that can hook me, unhook me from the infinite peace within. So the thing that's getting hooked in by her controlling nature is my ego. My ego is reacting and is getting upset by her controlling nature. But that isn't the truth of who I am. So I just need to dissolve the hooks in me that are getting hooked into a controlling nature. Um, and uh, let's say every time I mess up the kitchen, I mean, each controlling person can be controlling in a different way. Uh, and then she starts screaming and shouting and is in a bad mood you know, for a long period of time. Well, you know, if I get an emotional reaction to that, every time that happens, maybe I go into a trauma response and I have lots of feelings coming up in the body. Then I could sit with those feelings and feel them out. Now, what's actually happening when I'm feeling out the negative feelings to, to her criticizing me or, or, or verbally attacking me um, is I am, if I feel the feelings out, my vibration will increase. Um, also understand that you know, the collective vibration of myself and this person, say in a house, you know, it's like the collective vibration of the house will have a certain energy, which is my level of consciousness and her level of consciousness. But if I start to clear the hooks, my level of consciousness will increase. And therefore the level of consciousness of the environment is also going to increase, which will mean there's more light and love in the atmosphere, shall we say, which will mean that there'll be a greater influence on her to be more forgiving, more tolerant, and to be at a high level of consciousness and not go into her low vibration controlling nature. There'll be more of a 
positive sea of love, shall we say, that will mean she, it'll tend to bring out her more loving side as opposed to her more critical, controlling, intolerant side. Because as your level of consciousness goes up, as you're in an environment where the level of consciousness goes up, you know, when you go to a spiritual meeting or meet a spiritual teacher, you often feel a lot of love for everyone. You'll go out in the street, you'll feel a lot of love. It's because that energy vibration of love means that everyone starts to experience love. You see, everyone goes out of their lower nature to a higher vibration. Tends to anyway, not, it doesn't, it's not always the case. So uh, I'll be trying to influence her through increase, transcending my, my hooks into her and so increasing the vibration of the environment which will hopefully have an, an effect on her or you know, I might pray to the Holy Spirit to see what are her wounds and to place those into God's infinite light and love and pray for miracles, to have compassion for her and if I have permission to clear her wounds, so to just pray that she be um, free of her wounds, of needing to control, to feel safe, and uh, you know, pray, you know, pray for the healing of her wounds. Uh, pray for, pray for a miracle to see anything that's coming up with this controlling person differently. Um, I also like, um, uh, so I'm trying to transcend her controlling nature in different ways, so it affects me. But I see all the spiritual work I'm doing with another person is clearing, you know, will be beneficial for me and beneficial for them. So just increasing my vibration so I get less hooked into it will mean that the vibration in the environment will increase. I can also directly pray for her or cancel what I perceive are her things. I, you know, like I place her wounds of needing to control, to feel safe into God's infinite light and love. I pray for miracles and transcend. So you know, with, with spiritual permission, that will also help ease her, her wounds and will uh, eventually lead to both her and myself, for example, if it's a woman, uh, to, to, the, to, you know, miracles happening in the relationship. So I'll be using all the spiritual tools. I can use the observer. Can I remain in the observer and not get hooked, even if she starts telling me to do this, that, and the other? If I get hooked next time, I just do a lot of practice on trying to be the observer of how I get hooked out. So then that can allow me to gain a level of immunity to keep my vibration high and not get triggered by her things. It can be a lot of work, you know, but a lot of uh, uh, clearing out the feelings, feeling out feelings, uh, putting various hooks into the light uh, or doing the anti-karma prayer and trying not to get hooked in. But uh, my experience is if it's a long-term relationship and you keep doing the spiritual work, um, my experience is they miracles do happen. Okay, I'm going to stop the um, recording now.